Hey guys! So I know I said that my next disability discourse video would be about how to refer to people who are disabled and a kind of disability glossary. However, that's going to have to wait for just a short time because this just keeps getting more prevalent. I keep getting linked to articles and in particular I got linked to one article yesterday that was just absolutely rage inducing and I need to talk about it and I think it's really appropriate for this um, channel and this conversation because it is something that really disproportionately affects disabled people. So today we're going to be talking about anti-vaxxers as you can probably tell from the title. I realize that this is probably going to be a controversial topic and if you have any thoughts or feelings whether you agree with me or disagree or just think that I've missed things out in this video which I almost certainly have please let me know in the comments. I really want this to be kind of an open communication and conversation rather than a lecture so um, please let me know anything that you have to say down in the comments and I will have a chat with you. Okay, so if you happen to have been lucky enough to avoid meeting an anti-vaxxer or hearing their opinions in your entire lifetime, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what an anti-vaxxer is and what they believe. So, as you might be able to tell from the name, anti-vaxxers are people who believe that we shouldn't vaccinate people, and especially children. If you're hearing that for the first time, you're probably thinking, well, that's insane, and you'd be absolutely right. <laughs> However, it is it does seem to be an increasingly popular opinion and I feel like this subsect of people is growing. I don't know if I'm just being more aware of it or if it really is growing. I certainly hope it's not but lord I've seen so many things about it recently so this is why I feel like I have to talk about it. I feel like it's gaining some traction and I don't like that. So why would anyone say that we shouldn't get children vaccinated? There are two main reasons that I've found looking among the anti-vaxxer community. And the first is the one that you hear about all the time, that vaccines cause autism. <laughs> um, so this is just demonstrably untrue. Um, there was actually one study done a long time ago, and it turned out what had happened was that they didn't have a control group. So the study is completely worthless and scientifically unsound. What had happened was they um, didn't have a control group, like I said, so there was no group that wasn't getting vaccinated, and then um, were testing uh, how many kids in that group had autism. What was happening was almost every kid was getting vaccinated, and so almost every kid who had autism had been vaccinated, and they called that a correlation, which is ridiculous, as I'm sure that you can tell. Um, every study since then, every scientifically sound study that has had a control group, has shown absolutely no correlation between vaccination and autism. So, seems pretty clear cut to me. Okay, so before I go over the next reason that anti-vaxxers think what they do, I just want to talk a bit about this reason, the autism reason. Um, because this is part of the reason I feel like this is a, an important discussion to be having um, as a channel or as a um, series that deals with disability issues and neurodivergent issues and things like that. Because the way that they go about this and the way that anti-vaxxers talk about this is so incredibly harmful to people with autism. It's really... <laughs> really really not okay and I think this is probably the 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 biggest victim in this whole discussion is people with autism because the way that it gets thrown around and weaponized in this really bizarre and gross way is terrible for people with autism. Basically what anti-vaxxers are saying is that they would rather have a dead child because they didn't get them vaccinated, dead from a completely preventable disease, than an autistic child. And many anti-vaxxers actually have autistic children, and this is what led them to be anti-vax. So think about that for a second. That's even worse, because not only are they saying in like a nebulous kind of what-if way, I would rather have a dead child than an autistic child, which is already freaking terrible, but they have an autistic child, and them lobbying, lobbying against vaccination is telling that autistic child, I would rather you were dead, and I'm warning other parents to have a dead child rather than an autistic child. And that's really messed, that's just more messed up than I can even express in words, I think. Um, so that's really, really awful. And whenever I see that kind of sentiment, I just, what kind of a parent are you? You decided to become a parent, right? Like, you knew the risks involved in being a parent. You knew that your kid might turn out not neurotypical or not able-bodied or whatever. You knew that, that's what you, that, that's, that's 
what you accept when you decide to be a parent, right? So be a damn parent. Don't, who would rather have a dead baby? Oh my God. <laughs> so here's my thing is even if vaccinations did cause autism, which they don't, which they don't, <laughs> even if they did, wouldn't you rather have an alive, happy, healthy child with autism than a dead child? Really? You're telling me you'd rather kids die than have autism? That's, that's some ableist bullshit, if I'm being totally honest. So that is the first way in which it's harmful. Um, the second way in which this particular line of thinking is harmful to people with autism is that often when anti-vaxxers think that autism has been caused by something, they also think it has a cure. Because if it's causable, it must be curable, which not even true. <laughs> but I mean, these people clearly aren't, you know, scientifically or logically based. So we'll just ignore that that is not the way that it works. Um, and so because they think that autism is curable, they will try all sorts of things to cure autism. I'm not going to go into some of the treatments they try here because it's pretty graphic and pretty awful, but if you want to look into it yourself, please feel free. Um, be warned. It's child abuse. It's torture. It's terrible. So, like I said, I think the autistic community is absolutely the biggest victim of this anti-vax mentality. And the fact that the fact that people can just go around saying this about like human beings, like, oh, well, I should never have got you vaccinated and then you could have just got polio and died and not had to have been autistic. Like the fact that anyone would think that's okay to say is just like mind blowing. So that's the, the autism argument um, from anti-vaxxers. Uh, the other reason that a lot of people say that you should, well, not a lot of people, I hope, a lot of anti-vaxxers <laughs> Uh, say that you shouldn't vaccinate your children is because some vaccines contain a tiny, tiny part of the live bacteria or virus that it's trying to protect against. Um, and they say that because of this, the vaccination will actually cause that illness. Never mind the fact that we've all but wiped out several illnesses with vaccinations. I don't know how they think that that's happened if the vaccinations are causing these illnesses because it doesn't really make any logical sense. But once again, we're clearly not dealing with rational people here. So <laughs> let's ignore that for a moment. They think that by getting vaccinations, you will give your child the disease. Um, once again, just demonstrably untrue. <laughs> Actually, this is another place where um, I feel like the dis disabled community is disproportionately victimized by these people. Um, I myself have an autoimmune illness and I'm immune suppressed and I can't get certain vaccinations because they do contain a part of the live virus or bacteria that the vaccine is protecting against. That's the only case in which getting this vaccination is dangerous. If you are very, very immune suppressed and your immune system is super weak, a very weak version of the bacteria or virus could still do a lot of damage to you. Apart from that, there is so little chance that you will get this illness from a vaccination if you have a regular immune system. Um, th there's a very small percentage of people who do get the illness. However, even if you get it, you get a much reduced version of it because the, the bacteria or virus itself is much reduced in the vaccine. So you get a very weakened version of it with much less symptoms and therefore much safer. Great, right? Apparently not. <laughs> so ironically, people like me are the only people for whom the anti-vaxxer argument makes sense, where they say you shouldn't get vaccinated because you'll get sick. But the thing is, the only thing that protects people like me from getting these illnesses is other people being vaccinated. So if your perfectly healthy, not immune suppressed child isn't getting vaccinated, they could get the illness in its full form and give it to someone like me who isn't vaccinated and I would have a very hard time fighting that off. Like, you will kill people like me by not getting your children vaccinated. That sounds harsh, but that's that's the truth of it. Herd immunity, which is what um, like mass immunization is designed to do, herd immunity is the only thing that protects people like me. And the reason that we are able to survive so much longer and live such better and longer lives than we ever have been in the past is because of herd immunity. And if this anti-vaxxer movement continues, herd immunity won't exist anymore. So immune suppressed people are basically just screwed. So that's <laughs> the other argument. And as I said, it's ironically true that some people, immune suppressed people can get the illness from the vaccine and can't get vaccinated. So I guess like it is right in a way 
but your perfectly healthy child will not get the illness from the vaccine. And I, I believe it's one or two percent. I'm sorry, I, sh I should have looked up the statistic before this because I sound really unscientific right now. I'm so sorry. But there's a very small percentage of people that do get the illness from the vaccine, like I said. And when they do, they get a way easier version to fight off than what you would get if you didn't get the vaccine. So there's no downside. There's literally no downside to getting vaccinated and getting your kids vaccinated. Please just do it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap this up before I get like super annoyed because this just makes me so, so angry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so basically what I would say to anti-vaxxer people and especially anti-vax parents, if you're watching this, do some research, please, please do some research. Not on web websites called things like vaccinationscauseautism.com. Do your own research. Just look up scientific studies. Don't don't look up anything that like uh, presents these results in a kind of um, emotional or I don't know how to put this. <laughs> don't, don't don't look up anything that presents these results in anything other than their pure scientific form. So just look up the numbers. All you need to see is the numbers, and I promise you, you will find no correlation between vaccinations and autism and no correlation between vaccinations and children dying from the diseases that, they, that they're getting vaccinated against. So what I wanted to end on was this. We live in the 21st century and we are incredibly fortunate to be able to be this blasé about illnesses that in previous centuries killed so many children. We live in a time where you can expect most of your children to live past the age of 10. Like, the vast majority of your children will live past the age of 10. And that is only due to medical science. That's, like, vaccinations are a huge part of that. We've all but wiped out some diseases that used to kill thousands of children. Like, all the time children were just dying of these diseases that we couldn't stop, and now we can. And now, because we've had a couple of generations where these diseases haven't been a huge issue, we've forgotten what they look like. We've forgotten what it's like. And so suddenly people can go, well, it doesn't seem like it's that big of an issue. So like, why are they pumping my kids full of chemicals? Because it doesn't seem like I've never seen anyone die of polio. I've never seen anyone die of measles. Well, yeah, because of the vaccinations. That's why, come on. <laughs> like, we're so fortunate that we have the luxury to now turn down medical treatment that, like, a century ago was considered incredible, groundbreaking, like, life-saving medical treatment. We can now just be like, doesn't seem real to me. Seems like it probably causes autism. Like, <laughs> we're so fortunate and we just don't see it. Like, these people really really don't understand how incredibly lucky we are to have vaccinations. Oh, it's just, it's like exhausting to even think about. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for this rant. This is this is the end of my little spiel about um, anti-vaxxers. Uh, the last thing that I will say is that even if your child did get sick from a vaccine, like got the illness that the vaccine was supposed to protect against, it's still a much better version of the illness than what they'd get if they weren't vaccinated. And even if, even if vaccinations caused autism, which they don't, once again, just gotta say that again, which they do not, <laughs> even if they did, it's your child and they're alive and they're not dying from horrible diseases. Surely that's worth something. Ah, uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> as as always, please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm sure there's so, so much that I've missed out. Um, and I'm not an expert on this topic. I only know what I myself have researched. Um, and I can only speak about the um, victims of this movement uh, in terms of people with autism and people who are Im Im immune suppressed based on my own experience of it. So please tell me of your experience. Tell me anything that I've missed out. I would love to hear it. And thank you so much for watching my ridiculous rant. I'm sorry for getting a little heated here. I hope that you can understand. I'm sure that some of you have found this just as frustrating as I found it. So until next time, where I hope we'll be talking about much more positive thoughts and feelings. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you then. Bye.